Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I am Jason, your host. I hope you're all having a good day. Oh, it's snowing outside. I've been sort of sorted. We're waiting on bits and pieces. I've still got a few items got to be done today. And a few bits and pieces coming to finish off all the rest. Um, I'm so glad I budgeted all the money in in december to do all the things i did but we're going to talk about sleep we're going to talk about sleep this is this video about the vlog about sleep my sleep doesn't come normally at all and for many years i've tried to sleep for um oh gotta do something back in a second. i knew i was missing something i hadn't put my watch back on so all this stuff I'm doing at the moment to bring everything together is to realize everything in a better situation. Now tomorrow, my doll that will be in the bedroom sitting on a seat next to my bed will hopefully allow me to sleep for longer periods than two hours. Two hours seems to be the limit with my brain. I, no matter what, two hours sections are what I sleep. Doesn't matter if I go, if I went to bed now, and I could get to sleep, it would be two hours. If I go to bed at midnight, two hours. If I go to bed at seven o'clock at night, two hours. It doesn't matter. After munchies, two hours. And trying to fight against that, trying to think, has done no good at all. Um, doesn't matter how worn I out am. It doesn't matter if I stayed up for a long period of time. Say, if I stayed up for 18 hours, to where my saw and I did exercises before bed using Beat Saber and all that and made sure I was active before bed and all that and blue light and not going on my computer and spending time just listening to audiobooks before bed and relaxing with my eyes closed. Nothing works. Nothing gives me more than two hours. Um, the only thing that ever has is sleeping in VR. That gives about three, four hours sleep. Now, at the moment, I've come up with a way to sleep, which actually works really well. So I go to bed about seven or eight o'clock at night. And I sleep till about one or two o'clock in the morning in two hour slots. I'll wake up, I'll stroke the dogs, I'll go back to sleep and I'm usually tired enough to get back asleep. So a couple of times I'm tired enough. So I can usually go from, if I do it at seven o'clock, I'm going to get about seven hours sleep. I'll wake up at two o'clock in the morning, completely awake and start doing stuff and projects and everything. And like this morning, I was up at two o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I can ha go through the day, I'm fine. And then after I've eaten food at tea time, I'll just go back to sleep. This seems to be the only way I've found to actually sleep. And yes, I've tried white noise. I've tried different kind of options. I have tried over the years many different ways to sleep. Um, it isn't just my own triggers that go can happen, but all the PTSD. My sleep routine has never been very good. You got to remember when Paolo was alive, for about, I would say... 18 years of our being together, I would be up till midnight every single, every single day. And I would get up at 6 a.m. every single day to start preparing the day for power and make sure everything was in. That was just my norm. I seem to be able to exist on a small amount of sleep and you can task Brit. I, I can exist for multiple days, a week, on two hours sleep it does start to short of starts to fuck with me after about that but i can go a week without with just a couple of hours sleep a night um but yeah this new way of sleeping seems to be working and it's all about finding the what works for you um i can give you i can tell you what happens to me and then you can take that hopefully as an example, but I can't say, do this, do this, do this. No, you've got to find the way to do it yourself. Like with all my coping strategies. The kitchen PC is having a revamp. 
as per usual. My um, my tablet PC is down there at the moment. It's not here on a lanyard with me at the moment. It's downstairs. I am uh, I am doing the Super Ninja bits of PCs. Woohoo! Uh, I like having my cameras. My cameras make things happy, makes things safe. Uh, the good thing about my I'm going to talk about my cameras next next video. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, here I'm going to say bye-bye for now and do another video.